This is the playful side of Black Knight. How are you? Welcome to my channel and all you Love Island fans. Yeah. Thanks for checking in on me and hearing what I've got to say. What's the gossip for tonight? Well, the first thing I noticed was how the men behaved when they heard that they were coming out of the villa and going somewhere else. I mean, anybody would think they'd been locked in a prison with no food and been tortured and they've just been made free. I mean, the way they were behaving. I mean, you wouldn't believe that they're in South Africa with some beautiful women walking around in bikinis. They get one text that they're going to Casa Amor and it's like hell breaks loose. I mean, what is with that? I mean, obviously, none of them have any real loyalties. I think Luke T, only because none of the girls fancy him, and he probably doesn't really fancy any of the, the women in there apart from Molly, he'll probably behave himself. But is that out of choice? We won't know because there's nobody in there that said that they like Lou T. So, as for Naz, I mean, I thought he's, I thought his head wouldn't be swayed. I thought he wouldn't be turned, but he looks like he will. Um, surprisingly, I don't think Finn's head's going to be turned, but you never know because the thing is, it's not even a real test because they all like Molly. And if Molly is into somebody else, they might just decide to stay faithful to their women at home. And it's going to look like, oh, you know, their heads weren't turned. It's not that their heads weren't turned. It's the fact that Molly hasn't really shown any real interest in any of them except for Callum. I think she's showing interest in Callum because Callum isn't leery. He ain't going to feel her up. He's not going to make her feel uncomfortable. Can you imagine if Molly jumped in bed with somebody like Mike or somebody like, um, who else? Hmm. Can't really think, but I know if she jumped in bed with Mike, he'd be all over her. But I don't think Callum will. I think Callum will be very respectful. I think Luke M will be very respectful. Maybe even Mike. I think, you know, they'll probably pick up on the vibes. But yeah, she feels comfortable with um, Callum. Shauna is going to go mad if his head is turned. And I've got a funny feeling if Molly plays her cards right, he might turn. Can you imagine? That's what I mean. You know, the women, they're so bloody faithful, aren't they? Shanice, okay, she likes Luke T. She's got a good connection and she ain't got a connection with anybody else. But at least Shauna did say she's not going to do anything just because Callum might. If she does, she has to have a serious connection. But they should really be getting to know the new guys because they do not know who's going to stay faithful from who isn't. I've got a funny feeling that Luke T will stay faithful to Shanice. I think they've, they've, got, they've got a genuine connection. I think... Um, hmm, I don't know if Naz is going to stay strong with Demi, but I think Demi might have an attraction to one of those guys in there. So I think Paige is going to be a hard one to turn. But I've got a funny feeling that Finn's head's not going to turn that easily. But like I said, if Molly put it on him, you just never know. Luke M, he wants Molly. But if Molly wants Callum, Molly is in demand, isn't she? Yeah, so it's all quite interesting that. What else did I want to say? Bloody that bloody Rebecca stirring the pot again. Did you hear her? To Shauna? All the guys had left something for um, their partners. <laughs> Callum, being Callum, doesn't leave anything for Shauna. So of course she's upset. Because the thing is, it shows consideration. It shows that you're thinking about your girl or whatever. 
So they all leave something behind just to show that they're thinking of them. Oh, Callum, he don't bother. Here, Rebecca. Oh, I wouldn't like that if that was me. I wouldn't take that too well. That's not a good sign. Oh, dear. That would annoy me, she says. Talk about stirring the bloody pot. I mean, Shauna is, you know, upset as it is. And she goes and says that. Anyway, what is the point of her going for another Connor lookalike when she ditched him? But mind you, maybe it was a personality more than anything else. Um, the guys, I don't think none of the guys were all that. There's not one guy that came into that villa that I thought, whoa. But the guy, the guys have got some nice girls in there. So, I don't know. I mean, what's her name? Jess obviously likes black men. That is obvious now. I mean, look who she's picking. She's picking the guy with the tattoos. And I, I didn't really get their name. I think one was called Ched and the other guy. So she definitely likes black guys. Um, well, we have to see with that. Like those, those guys have to vie for a woman in the house to stay. So they're all going to be grafting, whether or not they're sincere. So that's going to be an interesting one. Ah, uh, what else was there? I didn't think there was that much that really got me, apart from them running out of the villa like bloody maniacs. Um, what else is there? Naz, yeah, like I said, he excited me. You know, bloody conversations about food. There's no hot. Nobody eats hot Nando's. But yeah, I didn't really feel it today. The only thing I really got was, like I said, you know, them running out of the bloody villa like bloody maniacs. The girls, did you see how cool the girls were when the guys came in? I mean, cool as a cucumber. I mean, those guys, nah. They ain't, they ain't going to do it for any of those girls, I don't think. Nah. I thought that, that black guy was a Mike lookalike when I saw, you know, when you see, you know, when you see the preview. But, no, nah, Mike is better looking than him. And, yeah, we'll just have to wait to see what happens tomorrow. I think tomorrow's going to be quite exciting. But all that, what would you do? You know when they're talking, when they're putting that gunge in their mouth and from mouth to mouth down the line, don't you think that's absolutely disgusting? Especially with the bloody coronavirus and goodness knows what. You don't know what these people have got. That should not be allowed. Because you're mixing up saliva and everything. I think that is absolutely a health hazard. They should not be doing that. To be honest, if I was on there, no way. No one else, no one is going to spit any old even gunk in my bloody mouth. Sorry, I think that is absolutely disgusting. Can't they find any other task to do? To fill up a bloody glass. I don't know who comes up with these bloody ideas. Uh, what else was there? Uh, Shanice is remaining loyal to Luke T. She's got that little um, thing for Luke T, which is nice. And what I liked about it, she said she doesn't even care if he chooses someone else because she's going to stay true to herself. So I like that about her. And yeah, it'd be interesting to see what Callum and Molly get up to. Um... I mean, he said he's got sexual tension. Naughty, naughty, Callum. What's Shauna going to say? And you know, they're going to send those photographs of them doing the test over to the girls. And the girls are going to get mad. But yeah, I think Paige seems pretty cool so far. She doesn't seem too worried about Finn, which is interesting. I thought she would flip. Shauna's the only one. She's so insecure. I don't know how she's going to cope. But yeah, she needs, to, she needs to get on with somebody. She needs to crack on with that guy that she was talking to. Mind you, I think he's just telling her that just to stay in the villa. I don't think he really wants Shana. I don't really think, think he really wants Shauna. Nah. The other guys, I don't think they're going to want to graph for the girls who ain't interested. So I foresee... Um, who do I foresee going home? I thought I foresee Jess 
um, pairing up with Cheds. Um, that's that big black guy that looks a bit like Mike. I foresee... Um, who else is there that I think might pair up? Okay, we know Rebecca. Rebecca will go for the mixed race guy. Um, Shanice, she ain't going to pair up with no one. Paige, I don't think Paige would pair up with anyone. And um, Demi, I don't know. She seems taken in by that guy. So you just don't know. I can't put my I can't put my money on Demi. I'm not quite sure about her. She seems quite excited. As of the boys, I know what's his name? Mike. He's gonna go for one of the girls. He's not gonna go for the black girl. Um, I don't think she's pretty enough for him. I think he's very, very visual. And I'm only comparing her to Leanne. That's the only standard I've got. And Leanne was much more attractive. But, you know, if he gets to know her, you never know. But I'm not sure. And he said he goes for brunettes anyway. So that kind of wipes her out a little bit. But then he goes for brunettes. But then he's talking about he likes Jess. So I said, they're so inconsistent. You have to watch that man. What he comes out of his mouth is not consistent. So... Um, so I reckon Mike's going to turn. I don't know who he's going to end up with, but he's going to end up with one of the girls. That's what I believe. Any girl. I think um, Jess will end up with the black guy, like I said. Oh, yeah, let's stick to the boys now. Hopefully Luke M will get one of the guys. He's not going to get Molly, I don't think. I think Callum is going to get Molly. I think... Um, I don't even know all those girls' names, but... What I will say is that who I think is going to stay faithful. I think Luke T is going to stay faithful to Shanice. I think Finn is going to stay faithful to Paige. I think Callum is going to jump ship. I think Naz may jump ship. I'm not sure. And Mike definitely jump ship. So, yeah, I think I've covered them all. So we'll have to see what happens tomorrow night. And that's all for now.